Introducing first to my right, repping the 508, the team of Jillian Lee, and this is Anything is Possible, Alexis. We already have some new Bedford trash talk going on. This is going to get dirty very quickly. Oh, yeah. Alicia Edwards, a.k.a. Alexis, she does not know when to shut up. She appeared here in the booth earlier, and I, I did a double. I was frightened. I thought she was going to kill me. Oh, she's one of the hardest strikers, not, not, just, not just in the Women's Wrestling Revolution roster, of anybody whose matches I've ever called. She uh, can more than make up for her size difference against most opponents. And Jillian Lee has uh, gotten herself in tip-top shape. She is one strong woman. But you're always going to wonder if that knee injury is going to be a factor. You never come back from surgery 100%. Obviously, a lot of hesitancy to return to the ring. She's got quite the doctor's ordered grace on her. First time tag team match. The tag team division here in WWR. We've seen some incredible teams passing through. But I think that Karen Q and Tasha Steeles have proven to be the very best. And that knee brace might as well be a bullseye on a dartboard because anybody who goes in there with you, no matter how tough you are, no matter how good the knee is, they're gonna go right after it. Well, Jillian Lee, a sour disposition. Again, you can be mean, you can be tough, but you have to be skilled in order to best Karen Q and Tasha Steeles. Yeah, clean break, she almost broke her nose with that forearm to the face. Caught her under the chin that time. Looking to send Karen Q for the ride, but Karen Q put on the brakes. And yes, Jillian Lee started wrestling in 2000, but like you mentioned, that five years off, it might as well be a lifetime. It's gonna take a long time for you to get reacclimated to the ring. Absolutely, and think about, I mean, the entire women's wrestling scene, the entire independent wrestling scene has exploded since that period of time where you have specialized training for women's athletes like you see at Damian Adams School. I mean, not to take anything away from, you know, Julian Lee, but again, it goes back to the technique, and, and, I, and I just think that Karen Q and Tasha Steeles have them, have them outclassed, but that was quite the double team maneuver. Again, Alicia Edwards using the most of her size, getting dropped. And you notice that double team maneuver had just a little more attitude than most. AIP on our trunks, anything is possible. Certainly an overachiever in the world of professional wrestling. Again, come, somebody somebody who, who will, will be looked at as uh, a competitor that was ahead of their time, I feel. Absolutely. But that's why you've got the platform like WWR, you know, for somebody that's 10 years in that can still shine in that national spotlight. But you gotta win. Another quick tag. Tasha Steeles has not even seen any action in this matchup as Karen Q is basically uh, winning two on one at this point. And as mean and as tough as Jillian Lee and Alexis are, one of their flaws is that they get very angry very quickly. They get frustrated, as you saw right there with Alexis. So that's one thing that Tasha Steeles and Karen Q want to exploit. Absolutely. I mean, if you're a hothead, your game's out the window. But if you can channel that energy, that anger, it's gonna work to your benefit. So far, nothing doing for the team representing 508. And now we see the quick tags, not out of frustration. But out of coordinated tag team offense. And the double team elbow drop for emphasis. There you hear Alicia on the apron screaming at Jillian. Well, Taylor Hendricks didn't work out his partner. Let's hope that Jillian Lee does. Here's hoping. 
Grinder on the mat, side headlock. Not gonna be able to pick up a victory from this position, I don't think, unless she can catch her sleeping. But it's gonna continue to wear her down, continue to frustrate her. And here's something that's on display from Tasha and from Karen. Any aspect of professional wrestling, Ooh. Tasha and Karen do it very, very well, so there's no avenue they can't take. No, but I think they've got the advantage on the ground for sure. Oh, oh wow! Jillian Lee was trying to duck underneath. I think she was expecting a leapfrog. Instead, she got a face full of knee. And now Karen Q distracting Kevin Quinn, oh, and that all allows... the way down. Alexis getting a little bit of a receipt for her partner there. Brutal. Pulled her away from the ropes. Couldn't put her away. Interested to see if Jillian Lee is going to be looking to tag out here or if she's going to be looking to punish Tasha Steeles. And that's that aggressive nature that you were talking about, that overachieving aspect, very much like Brian Pillman back in the day where every little thing she does has a little extra oomph to it, a little more attitude than most, and that's why she's gotten as far as she has. Jillian Lee riding her down with a body slam. And now just pounding away with both hands and just bouncing her head off the mat. That'll rattle your brain. You know, sometimes people think it's the big impact to the head that can cause the concussion, but sometimes a repeated series of small impacts could be just as damaging. You don't think that Jillian Lee knows it? You don't think that uh, she showed up in somebody's house at 3 a.m. in New Bedford back in the day and probably put their head through a wall like that? I don't want to know. I mean, we don't need confirmation on that. Okay. I thought you knew something I didn't. <laughs> Tasha Steele's fighting back. The Bariqua badass put right back down. Alicia sent her off the ropes. Sit down with that clothesline. Extra impact. Great execution on that lateral press as she tries to slip the legs around. It looked like Tasha tried to duck it herself, but Alexis sensed it and went down with her and still connected. Alexis is the veteran. Absolutely. She's been wrestling at a very high level for a very long period of time. Before WWR came around, anybody that had any sort of national prominence that wrestled in New England, they were matched up with Alicia. Still very prominent in the region in singles competition, too. Almost a variation of the eye of the storm holding the head and riding the elbow down. Got to be careful not to get her too close to Karen Q. Big elbow, Jillian Lee tagging herself in. Oh, springboarding off the bottom rope with the double knees and taunting Karen Q just to connect with another drop kick. Away from the ropes once again. And you saw Karen Q keeping a close eye on the situation, wondering if she was gonna have to get in to break things up. And there's one thing that didn't disappear in that five years, ring awareness, knowing exactly where you are. Jillian Lee still holding on to that. Tasha Steele's had the opportunity to turn and tag, but I think her, her uh, pride got in the way there. Absolutely, oh, so close to making a fatal mistake right there was Jillian Lee. And she's just trying to muscle her into the opposite corner right now. She's lucky Tasha didn't know where she was. Caught her in the bread basket. And maybe that is where some of the signs of ring rust are starting to show on Jillian Lee. Yeah, it's the small things like that where she clearly is still not fine-tuned everything, so still a work in progress, but in a tag team situation, you can get away with a little more. Oh, oh not gonna get away with that! Wow. And she fell all the way to the floor! Not only the impact separating your shoulder, but landed hard here in the wooden floor in Electric Haze. A near-capacity crowd, but we kept that space clear for our VIP viewers. She hit that like a crash test dummy hits a wall. That was miserable. Now we're gonna see if Jillian Lee is able to stop Tasha Seals from making the tag or if she's gonna try and make the tag on her own. Look at the pain etched on her face. Just trying to drag herself over, makes the tag. But here comes Karen Q as well. She gets the tag and she is fired up. 
Into the forearm. Oh, and a big running body kick. Finishes the combination of the kick right to the mouth. Unreal athleticism. And Jillian Lee forced to break it up, just hurling her body, landing on her shoulder inadvertently once again. Tasha Steele's limping over there. Jillian Lee with a bad shoulder. Everybody's in a bad way. Well, both members of the opposite team, same idea at the same time. And there we see Karen Q and Jillian realizing it might be more effective to take it to each other. To the best of my knowledge, Karen Q and Alicia are still the, still the legal competitors. Who knows if Kevin Quinn is able to keep track of that. Karen Q on the apron. Oh! As we see the ace cutter. Diamond cutter, ace crusher, spine buster. Unable to go for the pin, instead turning her attention. And Karen Q taking over with an exploder suplex. Oh, and the face buster finds the mark. We got a stalemate, Paul Crockett. Everybody is down. Everybody is battered and bruised. We may have uh, a lot of people joining Sonya oh, Strong oh, at the oh, hospital. Oh, here we go. If Sonya Strong's first in line at the hospital, we have some more joining them in a minute. Yeah, of course, uh, Sonya Strong. I didn't actually get a chance to look at the doctors. No, I believe a respiratory infection not medically cleared to compete against Deanna Perrazzo in tonight's main event in the grudge match. Deanna Perrazzo instead is issuing an open challenge. She's got Karen Q up on her shoulders. Uh-oh, oh, no. inadvertently. Take it down. Oh, Alicia Edwards as Tasha Steele's taking the roof down with that pinpoint precision drop kick. Now we go to the Boston Crab and, it's and Alicia gives it up immediately. Are you supposed to wait until the match is over before you, you uh, get the confetti? Here are your winners by submission the team of Tasha Steele's and Karen Q, Team Adam. Missile strike drop kick followed by a cinched in Boston Crab and it was all over. Well, for my money, this is the team to beat here in WWR. Team Adams, Karen Q, and Tasha Steeles. Are we actually going to see a sign of respect from Alexis? I have a feeling maybe she'll surprise me. Ah, uh, so losers. Look at the surprise on my face. There is none. Well, you called it, Paul Crockett. As we still got two more big matches to go. 